Hi guys, so I wanna share with you a huge, huge tip. Hands down, in my opinion, one of the best tips I can share with you that can help you land more of the kings that you hook up with. Um, it's, it's a fairly simple idea, but a lot of guys get this wrong. Uh, you'll hear guys talk about uh, they were fighting a fish, it broke off. Uh, a lot of times when you're fighting these kings. And the big reason for that is your drag. For some reason, especially out of the kayak, it's a very different way you're gonna fight the fish versus if you're on a boat. Um, when you're on the kayak, here's what you need to be doing, in my opinion, of course. Once you set your lines into the water like I have set mine, you wanna set that drag tight enough so that if you try to just kind of jerk it, it'll give a little click or two. So it's fairly stiff in the rod holder. The reason for this is so that when the fish comes in and takes the lure, there's enough drag on there so that'll set the hook on the fish once it pulls away, once it takes the, 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 uh, the lure. Next, it's kind of imperative here, get that rod out of the rod holder as quick as you can and back off the drag uh, a good amount. Uh, you wanna let that fish strip line without, real uh, without a lot of tension uh, the idea here is that these fish are very powerful. One minute they'll be chilling and just swimming. You'll feel them just you feel like the thump in the rod because they're just kind of cruising along. Next minute they take off. They're out of here, and you don't want to have that drag set so tight so when they do that 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 sporadic run, that it automatically snaps your line. So give them give them the drag. A lot of times I'll pull it out and I'll thumb the reel. Um, so I'll have the drag somewhat medium, the medium light, you know, like setting on the drag, right? Where they can, they can strip it fairly easy or, you know, yeah. And then I'll just add my thumb as an additional amount of tension. So I can feel when they're run, I can automatically just let go of my thumb and just let them take it. And when they're not and I'm fighting them, I reel it in. Um, I can keep the thumb on it to, 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 to kind of just do a manual um, drag is the idea. If you do this, I'm very, very confident it'll increase your landing rate on your fish and uh, you won't run into an issue of uh, having fish break off of your line um, a lot of times again because of these big runs they'll take you'll think you get them next to the boat especially when they're next to you right when they're next to you uh, what they tend to do is come underneath your boat and they'll hang out underneath your, your your kayak right and you'll think you got them and that's when they take off and at that point your rod is bent almost vertical next to you and uh, it's a prime scenario where you wanna have that drag fairly loose so that they can do their thing. You don't wanna have the drag set so tight uh, that when they do that, instant break off. All right, so remember, with the drag in the rod holders, put them in there fairly, fairly stiffly, like I'm yanking on it, and it'll give like a little click or two here, right? It's fairly firm in there. Boom, they hit. It's enough force for it to set the hook into the fish, pull it out of the rod holder, back off the drag, and start thumbing it as you're fighting the fish, right? Reel it, reel, reel, reel. Put your thumb on the spool, lift, come back down, reel it, reel, reel. And when it wants to take line and run off, let it do its thing. And I'm, again, really confident that you'll be able to land more kings out of your kayak uh, here on Lake Michigan or wherever you may fish for uh, king salmon uh, yourself. All right, let me know if this tip actually works for you. Try it out. Um, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget, y'all, subscribe to the channel. If you like what we're doing here, a lot of Lake Michigan kayak fishing uh, tips, videos, uh, experiences here to share with you. Hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you don't like what we're doing, you can always unsubscribe, right? There you go. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.